are involved in providing genomic services, what we refer as next generation sequencing, to researchers within the university and also beyond. Sequencing is a very interesting science. It's used to lend the information of an organism. So we are trying to study that genetic material by producing data. It could be a disease uh, that is uh, being formulated in an organism like a virus or a bacteria, or it could be also our own behaviors, how our body behaves and how our body is formulated. And that is the data that we, as scientists who are doing genetics, are trying to find out and also interpret it. When we talk about genomic science, it's probably the most evolving science right now. We are just coming out from a group epidemic that every one of us has seen. If it was in the prior years where genomics was not developed, it could have taken 20 to 30 years to develop a vaccine. But because of this very interesting science that we do, we accelerated the process of getting this information by genomic science such that we could be able to very rapidly sequence these pathogens and generate data that was very useful to come up with prophylactic assays and uh, techniques that helped us to develop the vaccines that were used to stop the pandemic. So the clinician or the med medical doctor will have the right information to know that this patient is very accurately diagnosed and thus it will be able to offer a very good solution in terms of treatment care. I am very passionate about uh, capacity development, involving my collaborators and other partners to make sure that when we develop talent, the young ones, they can easily do the same things that we are doing even in a better scale in the future. Now we are in a phase that we refer as the second generation, coming from the first generation which was very expensive and took a lot of time to do. Now it's becoming cheaper and more comfortable to partake. So moving in the next 10 years, we are moving to what we refer as the third generation sequencing. So we'll be able to analyze the data easier, the computational power is becoming better. We are training by informaticians, people who can handle the data because it's not just enough to sequence and generate the data, but also to interpret the data. So we are developing capacity in the next 10 years through the fusion of the, this university to generate students who become professionals and who are able to interpret this data to offer solution. Whatever is the outcomes of this research must also go back to the community that we obtain the data to provide solutions and cure those you know, problems that are brought by those diseases. I know we can get there because we are UFS.